The Jonestown Massacre, a macabre event that unfolded on November 18, 1978, remains etched in history as one of the most disturbing cases of mass murder-suicide orchestrated by a charismatic cult leader, Jim Jones. This horrifying incident took place in a remote settlement called Jonestown in Guyana, South America. In this summary, we will explore the events, motivations, and aftermath of this tragedy. Jim Jones, a charismatic preacher, founded the People's Temple in the 1950s in Indiana, USA. Initially promoting ideals of racial integration and social equality, the organization evolved over time, gradually becoming a cult with Jones wielding immense control. His persuasive oratory and magnetic personality captivated followers, drawing them into the folds of his deceptive ideology. Amidst growing scrutiny and allegations of abuse and misconduct, Jones decided to relocate the People's Temple to Guyana, where he envisioned establishing a utopian society. This move was seen as a means to escape legal and media scrutiny while creating an isolated communal settlement. In the dense jungles of Guyana, Jones established Jonestown, a community ostensibly built upon socialist principles. However, it soon turned into a dystopian nightmare, with inhabitants subjected to harsh living conditions, intense labor, and psychological manipulation. Members were isolated from the outside world, and any dissent or questioning was met with severe punishment. As the isolation intensified, Jones' grip on the community tightened. He utilized mind control techniques, fear tactics, and propaganda to indoctrinate the residents, making them believe he was a divine figure. Jones claimed he could see their sins, manipulating them into a perpetual state of fear and obedience. In November 1978, U.S. Congressman Leo Ryan, accompanied by a delegation and members of the media, visited Jonestown to investigate allegations of abuse within the People's Temple. Some members saw this visit as an opportunity to escape the clutches of Jones and his abusive cult. However, Jones perceived this visit as a threat to his control over the community. Fearing exposure of the atrocities he had committed, he ordered an armed assault on Congressman Ryan and his delegation at the Port Kaituma airstrip as they attempted to leave Jonestown. This brutal ambush resulted in the deaths of Congressman Ryan, three journalists, and a defector from the cult. Following this attack, Jones knew that the wrath of the world would soon descend upon Jonestown. In a final, horrifying act of desperation, he initiated a mass murder-suicide event. Jones coerced or forced the congregation to consume a cyanide-laced fruit punch, poisoning over 900 men, women, and children. The aftermath of the Jonestown massacre was a scene of unspeakable horror. Bloated bodies lay strewn across the settlement, a stark testament to the extent of manipulation and depravity that had occurred within Jonestown. Families were torn apart, leaving a scar on the collective consciousness of humanity. This tragedy served as a chilling reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and psychological manipulation within cults. It spurred efforts to recognize and prevent the rise of such cults, promoting awareness and understanding of mind control and the vulnerabilities that allow cults to flourish. The Jonestown Massacre remains a haunting chapter in modern history, emphasizing the importance of vigilance against manipulation, the protection of vulnerable individuals, and the need for a society that values critical thinking, empathy, and human rights. Subscribe for good luck.